Greetings, history enthusiasts. Welcome back to the informative. I'm your host, Sam, and today we're diving into a fascinating and little known piece of history the incredible story of Seelan. Nestled off the coast of England in the North Sea, is a remarkable micronation that has captured the imagination of many. Sealand, often referred to as the world's smallest country, boasts a history as intriguing as its very existence. So grab your diving helmets and let's plunge into the captivating tale of Sealand. Our story begins in 1942, during World War II when the British government constructed offshore sea forts to defend against German air raids. One such fort, Ruff's Tower, became the foundation for Sealand's future. Fast forward to 1967, when Roy Bates, a former British Army major, occupied Ruff's Tower, declaring it the independent principality of Sealand. With its own flag, constitution, and even national anthem, Sealand started to take shape as a true micronation, but things were about to get even more intriguing. Sealand's journey wasn't all smooth sailing. In the early 1970s, a group of German and Dutch mercenaries attempted to seize the micronation by force. The Battle of Sealand ensued, with Bates and his family successfully defending their territory. As the years passed, Sealand began issuing its own passports, leading to debates about its legitimacy. Some argued that Sealand's status as a sovereign nation was dubious, while others admired its determination to assert its independence. Today, Sealand stands as more than just a quirky story. It's a symbol of resilience, self-determination, and the human spirit's audacity to forge its own path. The Principality has even ventured into the digital world exploring the realm of cryptocurrencies to secure its financial future. But what's most incredible is that Sealand's story isn't over. Its legacy continues to inspire and intrigue people around the globe, making it one of the most remarkable stories of nation-building that history has to offer.